Hi guys, welcome to Wingting's Kitchen. Today we're going to make Swedish chicken curry. This is a really hearty dish and perfect for the winter weather. This isn't a spicy recipe and the curry sauce is quick and easy to make. It only requires four ingredients. If you have any turkey or chicken left over from Christmas, this is a tasty way to use it up. So let's get started. You will need one small to medium sized whole chicken, one and a half tablespoons of salt, 15 allspice berries, 10 white peppercorns, three bay leaves, two tablespoons of curry powder, one tablespoon of butter, and one tablespoon of plain flour. Place the chicken in a large pot and cover as much of it as you can with water, but don't fill it up too much, otherwise it will bubble over. Add in the salt, allspice berries, peppercorn, and bay leaves. Put on a lid and bring to a boil. We'll need to boil the whole chicken through which will take about one hour. When it starts to bubble and the gunky stuff floats up to the top, spoon it out. Once it has been bubbling on one side for 20 minutes, carefully flip the chicken over and allow to boil for another 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, turn down the heat and let it simmer until it's cooked. Since all chickens and hobs are different, it's important to check the chicken is cooked before you serve. Poke the chicken with a fork and if the juices run clear, it's cooked. I have just moved my chicken to the side and kept it in the broth to keep it warm. So for the easy curry sauce, melt the butter in a pan. Once it's all melted, add in the curry powder and fry it off with the butter for about three minutes. Add in the chicken broth. If you're just making the curry sauce and don't have any broth, you can use a stock cube or just water is fine but you may need to add seasonings such as salt and pepper. Mix it all up so it's dissolved. Use a whisk as it will mix better. When it's all dissolved, we'll need to thicken the curry sauce with flour. First turn off the heat. I like to mix the water and flour together in a separate bowl to prevent the curry from getting lumpy. So when the water and flour mixture is all combined, lift the pot off the heat and pour it in. Whisk it a little bit before putting the pot back down onto the heat, so the flour and the water have a chance to combine with the curry, rather than bits of flour being cooked instantly. You can adjust the thickness of your sauce by adding more of the water and flour mixture to make it thicker, or more broth if it's already too thick. Don't forget to make the rice if you want to serve the curry with rice. To make the rice extra tasty, cook the rice with the chicken broth. Moving back to the chicken, place the chicken on the chopping board and chop it up. I'm going to take the chicken breast off and shred it using a fork. We're ready to plate. The Swedish chicken curry is ready to serve now. So here's my Swedish chicken curry and of course best served with rice. This is very Moorish and once you start it's really hard to stop. If you have a pressure cooker you can cook your chicken in there to speed things up. Also try chicken legs or chicken thighs because they're smaller pieces they'll be quicker to cook too and then you have a hearty dish in no time. If you like my video please like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on your notifications and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.